All right guys, happy Saturday. Today's workout is gonna start with our strength work. So in the strength, we got two parts to it. Part one's more about kind of warming up and preparing um, and building up to a bench press weight that feels like an eight or nine out of 10 that we can do for five reps. Once we get to that weight, in part two on a running timer, we're gonna do every three minutes on the minute for nine minutes. We're gonna go five bench press, every three minutes at that kind of level eight, level nine level. The, the idea of that is to build volume and strength um, at those challenging weights. Remember, this is not building up to a five rep max today. This should be a weight that feels challenging, maybe around that rep three, rep four mark out of the bench press, it feels hard, but is still doable to do five while still keeping good form and technique. So pay attention to that today. Um, and really warm up to that weight. If you're not sure, just think of getting up to something that maybe feels like a seven or eight out of 10 if you're kind of newer to it, and then doing some sets there. Again, it all depends on your positioning and technique. If it's so brand new to you, just work, focus on bench pressing today. Maybe it's just with the barbell and you're just gonna focus on getting a ton of good reps in. Um, but if you do have a log and a history of what you've done in the past couple weeks, let's go based off of that. After that, our workout is gonna be more about that kind of muscle endurance building here. We got five rounds. First minute is about elevated ring rows. Second minute is about hand release push-ups. This workout simply is a nice kind of push-pull. So we're gonna go horizontal, do our ring rows, and then we're gonna flip over, do our push-ups. That opposite muscle group action is gonna really help us build strength and endurance today. So we're gonna take advantage of that. The idea in the five rounds is to maximize also each minute. So try to work as much as possible, but not getting to a point where you're burning out in the first round and then your last kind of four rounds of this workout just feel awful and you can't really kind of get any reps in. So think of pacing this. Try to maybe do a couple reps, take a quick rest, then do another few reps. It doesn't need to be a max out set and then kind of get to failure. I would say think of maybe leaving two or three reps in the tank every round and then leave the last round to go all the way to kind of failure because you know you're going to be finished and done that workout. So that would be a good time to do it at. Overall, this is a good workout to kind of build upper body endurance and strength to as well. So hope you guys have fun with this one and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one.